What the brap is up fellow brapsters? Cody with two wheels in a tent and in today's video I'm going to show you my three favorite cutting tools. I've been working on the series of gear I use and trust and breaking them down into budget, mid-level, and pro. Most of these fit in the category of pro. They're not the only ones you can carry. This is just what I like to carry, so we're gonna go over them real quick. First off, this is the Gone Boy Silky Saw. It was the uh, 210 blade. I made a mistake and uh, was trying to cut a log probably twice as big as the saw, so yes, I broke the tip. Full disclosure, but that was user error. When you want to do a fire, this thing is awesome. Awesome, awesome. I love this thing. It's pretty lightweight. It's very durable. I've had it at least a couple years now, and even with the broken tip, it's still my favorite way to get firewood. Moving on. This is the Bench Made Bushcraft Knife. I like it because it has on the sheath a spot for your ferro rod. This is a Bigfoot Bushcraft one, by the way. I've been loving that. Nice leather sheath. It's fairly lightweight, yet it's really durable. I beat the living hell out of these. I believe this runs about $250, and that's without a ferro rod. Benchmade makes a ferro rod that's about 50 bucks. This one, which I like better, is I think about $15. It carves very, very well. Just feels good in the hand. I just love this knife. Again, it's Benchmade Bushcrafter. Durable, absolutely. Budget, not so much. I'm just showing you what I use and love. And uh, these two things never go without these two things. Next item, not sure the length on this. I think this is 19 from here to here. But this is the Council Tool Woodsman Camp Carver. With this here, because you can literally carve with it. Yes, I have the knife to carve. This is also just nice to carve. This makes great feather sticks. And it's weighted so well. It's not quite a felling axe, but you could fell with this if you needed to. It'd be some work, I'm not gonna lie. But again, this is very durable, easy to resharpen. Is it lightweight? Uh, not so much. As Greybearded Green Beret says, the juice is worth the squeeze on this one. This is also hardened steel, so you can use this as a hammer for your tent stakes or putting in pegs, wild animal comes in. Watch out! <laughs> comes with the sheath. I think it was about $155. So again, this is definitely gonna be on the pro side. I'm not telling you that you need to carry one of these. I'm just showing you my favorite three cutting items. Makes my camp experience so much funner for me. I'll leave links in the description below for you. Anyway, I hope that helps you out. Let me know in the comments down below what you like to use for your ax, knife, saw, or if you don't even take one. Thanks for tuning in. As always, stay safe and come join the adventure, baby. There are very similar things that cost a lot less. I just like to buy nice, not twice. Uh, almost every time I've used a budget item, I've ended up having to go and buy the quality item later, which is okay. If you're starting out or you can't get to, you know, the pro level expensive things, there's nothing wrong with that. I totally understand. But it is nice when you're out in the field to have quality stuff. Because usually you're a ways away from civilization. And uh, having to replace a, a cheap $10 saw from 
Walmart or whatever sucks when you're in the middle of a camp. But they do work until they don't. 